fogs up the place. Yeah. Yummy. Yucky. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hit him now, because it's kind of hard to see. Also, because he stays vulnerable for less time. This is where things get even more annoying. Okay, even scraping doesn't seem to do. But I got rid of his antenna quicker this time. Should I? Do I dare risk it? Why not? Hyper mode time. Also clears up my vision. Come on, die! Did I get him? What? I got him! That was another very close one. Now where are the... Did you leave any energy? No. None. Oh wait. Alright. Hey, actually quite a bit. Dude, that boss fight took entirely too long. Especially since it was just a mini boss. But hey, I beat him on the first try. And here is the coveted boost ball. And the boost ball is one of the power-ups that makes its appearance in each of the Metroid Prime games. Oh, whoops, that was not the right thing to do. And, yeah, this requires quite a few uses of the boost ball in a row. You have to keep boosting, keep that energy up. Until the arrows line up. Yeah, now I'm back where I was. Oh well, it's a big relief to have that battle done. I just need to save at the first opportunity I get. There's a data bot there, maybe I already pointed out that one. ones just look indestructible to me, even though I know they're not. The big storage containers, I mean. Oh, wow. There are a lot of these guys around here. Oh, that was dumb. Come on. 
can do it. So this bridge is out, which means I need to find another way of getting across. Fortunately, because I have the boost ball, I can activate this cannon. Yeah, I think the game calls them kinetic locks, like the devices that need a boost ball. So once you have the boost ball, you can kill tin bots by running into them. You can even uh, you can even select an option. I have it turned on right now to uh, to have a target. You see there there's a little arrow that points when I charge up the boost ball. I have a little arrow that tells you where you're going. Now there, you can even get a credit for knocking over several tin bots by using the boost ball. Uh, called bowling for bots or something. It's easier to do. Eh, wrong way. It's easier to do on the um, lower difficulty levels because they have less health. Did I just go around in a circle? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you'll hear stuff shaking. I think that's just supposed to be because the winds in this place are really high. It doesn't mean that things are about to collapse. At least, it doesn't usually mean that. See Gore's armor again. This cannon is already activated. Yeah, the kinetic locks are more annoying than they had to be. I don't know why there couldn't have just been spinners instead. It'd only take like, you know, three or four, maybe five boosts to use. Instead, they have the spinners that require like 15 or 20 boosts. Oh, another one left. Yeah, it seems like the poison doesn't hang around as long as in the previous games. I was supposed to grab onto that. That's bad. Don't know where the sound effect comes from. Or rather, why it's there. So, with the boost ball, I can get in here. A good way to time it is just release the B button when you're at a certain point of the cycle, like I'm releasing it every time I go to the right, or 3 o'clock. So, this guy needs his shots. Minister vaccine. Wait, do I have to press this button? The Aurora unit is corrected and requires repair. Opening maintenance level hatch. Yeah, I have to press that button. Oh joy, more bots. Can't tell the difference between steam bots and tin bots. Alright, these are tin bots.